and from the 1st of February 2024, it will also be illegal to own a XL Bully. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're looking at strange things it's illegal to own or do here in Britannia. See, this This looks like a, I mean, this is a proper machine though. Mm. This looks like it could do some damage. Reporting on active court cases. In some countries, like parts of the US, it's legal not only to report on ongoing or active court cases, but in some instances to record and broadcast them as they happen. You may be surprised to learn that doing this is completely illegal in the UK, according to the 1981 Contempt of Court Act. Essentially, it's very difficult to report on ongoing court cases in the UK, which is all done so that the press reports can't prejudice the jury in a case. So, reporting on active cases in the UK will all be very matter of fact, and you can still be held in contempt if you break this law, even if you're not intending to prejudice a jury. Chlorinated chicken. Chicken pieces caught in machinery. Chicken pieces and innards covering the floor flooded floor areas and water leaking from machinery. With the UK's exit from the European Union, there was a lot of talk about a potential food trading deal being made with the United States. But one particular product became a key part of the case against the deal, chlorinated chicken, banned in the EU. It's not the chlorine itself that's the problem. It's the fact that it allows chickens to be stored in horrific conditions. I mean, they're not able to move. They're like the living dead, these chickens. In America, it's normal for raw chicken to be washed in chlorine to make it safer to eat, as American chickens are kept in worse conditions than chickens here, which means the meat carries a greater risk of bacteria and disease. And even though it makes for cheaper meat, it is a practice the British public finds hard to swallow. You also can't eat raw eggs in America, because the way the US washes eggs actually makes them more unsafe to eat. Polish potatoes. If you're found to have been importing potatoes into Britain grown in Poland, you'll be in a lot of trouble, because since the 2004 Polish Potatoes Act, this has been an offence. But why? And why Polish potatoes specifically? Well, because at the time, there was an outbreak of ring rot in potatoes in Poland. This isn't really a threat to humans, luckily, but if ring rot were to arrive in the UK and spread through our native potato population, the damage to potato farmers would be catastrophic. Many more countries have ring rot, and there are quarantine systems in place to try and prevent the disease from establishing itself here. Peeing in public you may find this shocking if you've heard the well-known myth that urinating in public is legal here in some very specific circumstances. For instance, if you're pregnant. Or, if you're a man, if you're weighing onto one of your car's rear wheels. In fact, urinating in public at all is against the 1986 Public Order Act and illegal. Yes, even if you're pregnant. Of course, the police are rarely, if ever, going to arrest or prosecute somebody for doing this, especially if they are caught short in the middle of nowhere, or, again, pregnant. You could well be f***ed for doing so if you get caught, though, no matter which part of your car you're relieving yourself on. Flying a kite This popular pastime has been enjoyed by children and enthusiasts for centuries, but it's actually against the law to fly a kite in public in London which is bad news for Mary Poppins. It's all to stop people from being a nuisance with their kites and, for instance, trying to fly one around Piccadilly Circus and annoying everybody. But there are lots of rules about kite flying across the country, including how high you're allowed to fly one so that it doesn't affect air traffic. According to the Kite Society of Great Britain, you shouldn't be flying a kite higher than 60 metres or within 5 kilometres of an aerodrome. Suspiciously holding salmon in 1986, a law called the Salmon Act was passed to protect the UK's native salmon fisheries. But this law had the effect of making it illegal to, quote, handle salmon in suspicious circumstances. It's really all to crack down on dodgy meat and to criminalise people buying and selling illegally fished salmon from a non-registered fishery. But what exactly makes handling of the salmon suspicious? Well, if you find yourself in a back alley late at night buying cheap salmon from the back of someone's car boot, you might be breaking this law. And in 2009, it was amended to include all fish, just when you thought it was safe to suspiciously handle eels and trout. Killing Swans 
Britain has a lot of laws protecting our native bird species, but it's popularly believed that the monarch owns all the swans in the UK, and therefore killing a swan is treason. This isn't exactly true though. The king actually doesn't own all the swans in the UK, only the wild or unclaimed mute swans near Windsor Castle. Killing a swan usually isn't treasonous. However, it is still a crime in accordance with the Wildlife and Countryside Act of 1981 to kill or take wild animals. This applies to all our protective wildlife species, not just swans. In early 2023, a man from Abingdon was arrested and found guilty of killing a goose. Being drunk in a pub. You probably already know this one, but it's still true that it's against the law to be drunk in a pub in England and Wales. Not just the pub, but anywhere in public, in fact. It's also an offence to knowingly sell alcohol to a drunk person. All these rules can make a career as a publican or bartender even harder, since refusing to sell alcohol to intoxicated people will generally harm business. But studies have shown that the law is regularly ignored. Unless you're being a menace, or are so drunk you can't look after yourself at all, you're probably still going to get served in most places in the UK. Dog breeds. Now, this mm. breed killed four people here this year. It's, it's the top mm -hmm. killer. If it had been banned, then those mm. four people might still be alive today, mightn't they? Believe it or not, you're allowed to keep nearly all animals as pets in the UK if you have the proper licence. This includes dangerous wild animals like tigers and wolves. But there are certain breeds of dog that have been banned. These are Pitbull Terriers, the Japanese Tulsa, Dogo Argentinos and Fila Brasieros. More people should be making sure if they own a dog that is likely to unnerve or, or, or frighten somebody else, um, that they, they should be able to control that. Later in 2023, it's reported that American XL Bullies are going to be the fifth banned breed on this list. You can still keep banned dogs, however, as long as you have a certificate of exemption, though getting this is a lengthy process. But there's actually no real evidence that banning dog breeds actually does reduce the number of dog attacks. The majority of these dogs are wonderful family pets if they're handled sensibly. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Offensive weapons. The measures we have around guns are very strict. Some of the strictest in the world. And gun deaths are rare here. It's well known that the UK has some of the strictest laws on weapons anywhere in the world, but if you're from abroad, you may be surprised to learn exactly which items are classed as offensive weapons and might think we've gone too far. Do you think people realise how many guns there are in this no, country? No, I don't think they do. Most knives are completely illegal here, including in private, as are certain batons and truncheons. But other items will also become offensive weapons if you brandish them as such in public, including pieces of sporting equipment like baseball bats and cricket bats. For many of us in this country, guns aren't really a part of life. And, of course, we also have heavily restricted firearms, which includes pepper spray, something Americans in particular might be surprised to learn is illegal here too. Have you ever accidentally broken any of these laws? Let us know below. And it's frustrating for me that you tell somebody that you own a gun and you're instantly a weirdo. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.